Here we are, honey. Right back where we started from. You're awful nice to me tonight, Rosemary. You think Miss Owens suspects anything? I don't care if she does. The businessman's gotta be careful of talking. After all, you're a school teacher. Well, I better be heading back to Cherryville. Gotta open up the store in the morning. <laughs> good night, Rosemary. Maybe I should say good morning. Where are you going? Honey, I gotta get home. You can't go off without me. Honey, talk sense. You can't go off without me. Not after tonight. That sense. Honey, be reasonable. Take me with you. What do people say? To hell with what people say. Honey. What do people say if I thumb my nose at them? What do people say if I walk down the street and show them my pink panties? What do I care what people say? Honey, you're not yourself tonight. Yes, I am. I'm more myself than I ever was. Take me with you or I don't know what I'll do with myself. I mean it. Honey, go upstairs and get some rest. Get outside school in the morning. We'll talk this all over Saturday. Maybe you won't be back Saturday. Maybe you won't be back ever again. Rosemary, you know better than that. Then what's the next thing in store for me? To be nice to the next man and the next? Till there's no one left to care whether I'm nice to him or not? Till I'm ready for the grave and don't have anyone to take me there? Now, Rosemary... You can't let that happen, Howard. I won't let you! I don't understand. When we first started going together, you're the best sport I ever saw. Always good for a laugh. I can't laugh anymore. We'll talk it over Saturday. We'll talk it over now. Well, honey. You said I... you were going to marry me, Howard. You said when I got back from my vacation, you'd be waiting with the preacher. Honey, I've had an awful busy Where's the preacher, Howard? Where is he? Honey, I'm 42 years old. A person forms a certain way of living, and then one day, it's too late to change. Get back here, Howard. I'm no spring chicken either. Maybe I'm a little older than you think I am. I form my ways too, but they can be changed. They gotta be changed, because it's no good living like this, and renting rooms, meeting a bunch of old maids for supper every night, and coming back home alone. I know how it is, Rosemary. My life's not better roses either. Then why don't you do something about it? I figure there's some bad things about every well, life. Well, there's too much bad about mine. Each year, I keep telling myself it's the last. Something will happen, and then it never does. Except I feel crazier all the time. Well... Oh, well, the hole in the ground, Howard. Be careful when you don't fall in. I wasn't trying to be funny. And all this time, you've just been leading me on. Rosemary, that's not so. I've not been leading you on. I'd like to know what else you call it. Well, can we talk about this Saturday? I'm dead tired. I've got a business. You've got to marry me, Howard. Well, I can't marry you now. You could be over in the morning. Sometimes you're unreasonable. You have to marry me. What do you do about your job? Alpha Jackson take my place till I get someone new from the agency. I'll have to pay Fred Jenkins to take care of the store for a few days. Then get him. Well... I'll be waiting for you in the morning, Howard. No! Howard! I'm not gonna marry someone who says, <gasps> You gotta marry me, Howard. I'm not gonna. If a woman wants me to marry her, she can at least say please. <laughs> <laughs> Please marry me, Howard. Well, you got to be tired of oh, over. Oh, God. Please marry me, Howard. Please, please, please. Rosemary, I, I got to have time to get over. You go upstairs and get some rest. I'll turn over in the morning and maybe we can talk about it before you go to school. You're not just trying to get out of it. I'll be over in the morning, honey. August? Yeah, I got to go to the courthouse anyways. Oh, God, please, Howard. I'll be over in the morning. Go to bed, Rosemary. Please? Go to bed, Rosemary. Good night. Please? Good night, Rosemary. Please?
I, I don't expect to do anything about it. I, I just figured you should know. I see Rosemary. Gosh, Howard, what are you doing here? I think she's expecting me. Well, better go holler at the bottom of the stairs. All the others are up there, too. The others? Miss Potts, Miss Cronkite, Miss Schoenvalder. Golly, I gotta see you alone. It's Howard, he's here! Oh my god! <laughs>
I'm not gonna settle down. You'll do now. What do you take me for? Look, I don't wanna fight. You're the only friend I ever had. We're not friends anymore. I'm not scared of you.
Wait till you're a little older before you say that, Millie girl. I'm old enough already. Look, Madge can stay in this jerk water town and marry some honorary guy and have a bunch of dirty kids. <laughs> Me. When I graduate, I'm going to New York. And I'm going to write novels that'll shock people right out of their senses. I'll be so great and famous, I'll never have to fall in love. You're a talented girl, Millie. Hey, you girl! Oh, 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 you pooped out Nicola! He thinks he's so smart! Hey, you girl, go kiss me, I want to be sick. Oh, and he thinks we can get back to that Millie! Millie, right. really, you are a grown girl now. I'll see you this evening. Alan, um, we'll be back. Don't you think so, Helen? Of course I'll be back, love. Come back at Christmas and I'll take you to the dance at the club and I'll live happily ever after. I hope so. Stop to you for.
I don't even care, you ugly. Go get your pretty sister. <laughs> Posing. You 
If you ever break a window, you'll hear me. Go back to bed. Don't blow your nose. Why don't you go back to bed and tell your pretty sister to come out? It's no fun looking at you. Hey, I'm talking to you, Goonface. You take that back, little bastard! You take that back! Now listen to Goonface, she cusses just like a man. I am gonna kill you, you little bastard! I'm gonna kill you! Look at Mrs. Tarzan! Oh. Look at Mrs. Tarzan! Who's making so much noise? Hi, Madge. Hi, Robert. I hope I didn't wake you, Madge, or bother you or anything. Nothing bothers me. Hey, Madge, a bunch of us guys are chipping in on a hot rod. Radio and everything. I get it every Friday night. I'm not one of those girls that jump in a hot rod every time the boys turn a corner and honk. If a boy wants a date with me, he can come to the door like a gentleman and ask for it. Yeah, Alvin Seymour sends her flowers every time they go out. <laughs> well, I can't send you flowers, baby. But I can send you. Oh, listen to him bragging! Why don't you let me pick you up some night after Seymour brings you home? Wouldn't be fair to Alvin to go steady? Yeah, don't you know what steady means, stupid? I seen you riding around in this Cadillac like you was a duchess. Why do good-looking girls have to be so stuck on themselves? I'm not stuck on myself. You take that back, Bomber Vetzel. Let me pick you up some night, please. We'll get some cans of beer and we'll go down to the river road and we'll listen to music on the radio. Oh, wouldn't that be romantic? Madge, give the guy a break. Right away, lover boy. Who are you? What's that matter? <laughs> I'm bigger than you are. <laughs> hey, go peddle your papers. Yes, go. Hey, man, wanna go dancing? Let me be next. Hey, you shut up, crazy! My brother's seen him parked under the bridge. I don't see more. has been looking for him all over town. She always put on a lot of airs, but I knew she liked us. Someday I'm really gonna kill that little bastard. 